and the green eyed dragons gonna rock. In the era of digital technology, few people know that for almost 400 years, man has utilized mechanical calculators which were able to do calculations using complicated gear wheels mechanisms. The first mechanical calculator of this kind was designed by Wilhelm Schickard in 1623. Even if it did not work, its principles were later used with success. Blaise Pascal, around 1650, designed a mechanical calculator capable of doing sums and subtractions. Even if it didn't have big success, because it was difficult to use and expensive, it was the start of almost 400 years of research on the subject. 50 pieces were built. Towards the end of the 17th century, Gottfried Leibniz built the first calculator capable of doing the four basic operations. He invented the so-called Leibniz wheel, which has been used for centuries as the working principle of mechanical calculators. Based on the work of Pascal and Leibniz, the arithmometer of Colmar was the first calculator to have great commercial success. Between 1851 and 1915, 5,500 pieces were sold. Around 880, Dorfeld patented the first key-driven mechanical calculator. Another successful model was Wilgott Ordner's calculator, which was very compact. It was sold until 1918 and 23,000 pieces were produced. Later they were copied and have been sold until the 1970s. Engineer Kurt Herzstark invented the Kurta, the smallest pocket mechanical calculator which has been sold until the 1970s. It is composed of over 600 components and 140,000 pieces were produced. This is how you do the five basic operations on a mechanical calculator.